Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. I do hope you are having a lovely day and are ready to have a look or a look back in time. Because in this video we are going to have a look at the object removal. This was one of my most beloved features in DaVinci Resolve 16 when it was announced back last year at NAB. And I did do a video about it, but I thought it would be very fun to jump in and have a look at how is this feature actually now at present time, because there has been a bunch of updates since. So without further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve version 16.2 and have a look at how the object removal are working. So let's get right to it now. Okay, so let's uh, have a quick look at the object removal here in this clip. I'm going to remove this annoying UFO in my shot and I really don't want it. So let's get right to it. Let's go to the color tab. And in here we are going to go into our windows and I'm just going to draw a shape around the UFO here. Like so. And then I'll just go into the tracker and I'm going to track the shape. And then I'm just going to push uh, Alt S and I'll do a new note. And in the new note, I'm going to connect this blue one, as you saw right here. And then I'm just going to the effects library and I'm going to write OB and this is the object removal. I'm going to add that into this note here. And then I'm just going to do a screen analy analyze. And we'll just go through the footage and um, see what we want to remove. So we have this ugly blob here and if we go down here and just click the build a clean plate, we have now a clean plate. And as you see here, the UFO are all gone, more or less. There's a little problem here, so we'll go back into the mask and we're just going to soften the, the inside and the outside a little bit and a little bit of softness as well. And that's around it. So one of the problems is that the shadow itself is not gone yet. It's still there. So we need to remove that. And the way I found out that this works the best, at least, is to do another note. And we do the same procedure this time. Again, I'll just draw a, a shape around the shadow. Like so. And then I'm going to go to the... This time I'll do the softness first and then I'll just go to the tracker and then I'm going to change it from clip to frame. I'm going to push the keyframe icon. I'm going to the end of my thing here and I'm just going to move the mask and then just going to make it fit like so. Something like that, and then that's fine. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to push Alt S to do another note. I'm going to connect this blue dot, and then I'm just going to add the object removal yet again, and push Scene Analyze. And uh, again, we do the same thing. We build a clean plate and then we just push Alt S to add a, another note just to see what we're doing here. And um, and here we have the final shot. So there have been some improvements in the object removal over time. And again, this is one of my most loved features in DaVinci Resolve 16. So I can't wait until Blackmagic will come out with DaVinci Resolve 17 where this feature most likely will be improved due to the neural engine inside of DaVinci Resolve 
Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.